sometimes we underestimate what it feels like just to release some stuff. And you guys don't know, and I think everybody does, and I've been at Charlotte, my name is Takeda Ashley. And I'd like to welcome you into Unorthodox. For the rest of you, if you'd like, please make sure to bring somebody with you to share this experience with somebody else. We believe here that we have a wonderful thing. We believe here that it's a place for you to express, be heard, have some new learning experiences about religion. One of the things that's happening right now is that we don't know enough about what we claim to practice on a day-to-day -day basis. find my spirit because I have detached myself from that what was given to us at birth. That that was given to us as a blessing. I have detached myself because somebody has done me wrong. Something has put me in a bad place. Something has happened to me that I have detached myself away from my spirit. So real quickly, I say to you all, look down deep if that's how far you got to go, if you got to swim through some stuff, kick some stuff around, you know, look for that spirit. Think about reattaching yourself to your spirit. Your spirit is still there. It's not going nowhere. It's still there. We are all connected. We are all attached. We're talking about attachments today. So, um... And trying to prepare for the welcome, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It was some things when I looked up attachment in relation to religions and uh, you know spirituality. It was a little scary at first. I was a little taken aback because there was such an emphasis at first glance on death. Mm -hmm. um, but after reading more and more, you know, it definitely did make me feel better about what it was and it definitely gave me a calm or a sense of ease around what it was I was learning um, from these different aspects, these different religions, these different spiritual uh, backgrounds. Um, so I did look at it from two different perspectives, one psychologically and the other spiritually. We don't reject. We accept. <laughs> okay. um, we're not exclusive. <laughs> we're not exclusive of, but we're embracive of all. Um, and I uh, appreciate you all for being here. Once I began to think about attachments, the first thing that came to my mind was leeches and parasites. Hmm. So we know that uh, uh, the nickname for a leech is a blood sucker. Hmm. And, you know, they used to use them to, for people who were bleeding too much to, to drive the bleed. But the thing about it is they suck the blood. And if you, if you have too many leeches on you and they begin to suck enough of your blood, you can end up dying. Come on, come and on. the thing about a leech <laughs> is it's not a respecter of the blood. Hmm. So that means if the blood is bad or if the blood is good, hmm. the leech is going to suck it in. Same thing with the parasite. Mm. If a parasite gets attached to you, the parasite begins to drain mm. on your life form. It begins to suck you dry. Mm. Everything you put in your system, the parasite eats. 
and takes it on. And if not caught in time enough, you will or can die. Right. Why I'm talking about leeches and parasites. Um, because a lot of times when we talk about attachments, we're always, if, if, you, if you've been in enough churches, they tell you you need to um, let them people go. <laughs> you need to let those people go that don't mean you any right. harm. And, and those other people are referred to as the leeches and the parasites. But today I want to talk about when we become the leeches and the parasites. Mm -hmm. When we attach ourselves to things, people, and ideals that we don't want to let go. Thank mm -hmm. you.